Okay, welcome back to the next part of the learning English with Jose and I mean I am here at the exercise number five and we will finish three and four. Okay. So John McCray was a bell is he a Belgian okay. I will not read the answers anymore because it's too long because we'll waste our time a lot. So let's listen to this part. The cars. Oh, the cars stopped. Stop. Okay, so pass, pass, pass. It was a silence. John McRae. John McRae. Is a Canadian doctor who oh. fought as an officer in World War One. Okay, a Canadian doctor. So you can see right over there. In the line A, you cannot see a Canadian doctor, so we'll pass. C either, so we'll pass. But B and D, it has a Canadian doctor. But D, it said the the official, officer, officer, Canadian doctor and officer. So it can be only B, B, but. Is it the actual answer? Let's listen next. He saw terrible things during that time. Okay. There were sometimes hundreds of casualties in one day. Thousands and thousands of young soldiers fought and died in the muddy, wet fields of Flanders, a part of Belgium. Okay. In those same muddy fields, red flowers grew. Red flowers means the poppies. Okay. Let's take a look. Does it talk about the poppies for the both sentences? Okay, B and D are both mentioned poppies, but let's listen. What do they mention about? Is it plant the poppies or wrote a poem about the poppies? Let's listen. Poppies. McRae imagined that the poppies were growing there to mark the places where young men had died. He found the sight of the poppies very moving. And wrote a poem about them. Okay. In Don't need to listen anymore. Wrote a poem about the poppies, and also a Canadian doctor and officer who wrote a poem about the poppies. That was John McCrae. So we we'll choose three B. Okay. Don't don't need to make any more decision. Three will choose B. Let's listen to the last. The poem, We Row on Row. She wore one of them and sold the others. Okay. So she we'll gave talk the money to ex soldiers in the, an American woman called. An American woman, okay. Moira Michael read his poem and bought some poppies. She wore one of them and sold the others. She gave the money to ex soldiers. Selling poppies to help ex-soldiers and their families began in when? Why? Soldiers in the United States. Other people copied the idea. They okay. American woman bought um bought the poppies, then said, then sold again to help the ex-soldiers and their families began. And then it said, right, it has. Just said the Americans copy. Oh no no no! They copy the ideas. Okay, copy the ideas of that woman. So that woman is being copied by a lot of people. So that means with one woman's action, the tradition of selling puppies to help ex-soldiers and their family began. So with one woman's action means. They copy her own idea at first, okay? So we'll choose four C, four C for the answer. That means they copying her. Okay, so we have finished the exercise number number five on page number sixteen, and that has been the conclusion of a tonight's lesson of learning English. Well, for say thank you so much for watching our tonight's um tonight's lesson tonight's episode. Uh, remember to review to see tonight's lesson. Coach, you're remembering about the past, 
and also prepare for the next week's lesson. We'll talk about grammar again. We'll do grammar used to, okay? Used to, what is it about? We'll find out next week at 7.30 p.m. on Facebook page and our YouTube channel, okay? Mm -mm. Um, you are, uh, do we have Friday Saturday now? No, we, no, I am not at Saturday. Yo, yo, hello. Woo. Everything okay? What is the day today? Today is the 15th of May. 15th of May. Yes. What is the date? What is the date? The date. The date. Today is Monday, Tuesday. Monday. It is Monday, ladies and gentlemen. You are watching this show again. Oh my god. Now, now, now. Okay, okay, now. Now you are lying at home. You are feeling free because you have passed the week. A very, a uh, very, uh, maybe it is maybe your, 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 your good week. Maybe your, you have a bad week. Maybe you have a lucky week. Unlucky week. I don't know. But today I am in on oh, I am now on Monday. I am now beginning the beginning of the week. I am on Monday right now. So you are on Saturday, you can now cheering at home, you can now having parties at home. But I am now Monday. Oh my god, how pity am I? But maybe you are having drink. Maybe maybe may I drink with you? Okay. Mm. Water has been so good. Because I have talked a lot. Woo. Um You're at home now, maybe you you're really feeling really relaxed. But I am now on Monday. Unfortunately I'm now on Monday, so I cannot I I I don't know what is gonna happen this week. So oh, oh I I I you were on Saturday uh Saturday May twenty seventh twenty seventeen uh twenty seventeen I am now on Monday May 15, 2017, here, right after I record last week's lesson, last week's lesson, it is on May 20th, 20, 20 2017, and this week it is May 27th, 2017, I am now on Monday, May 15th, 2017, so I have recorded the two weeks lessons after I record this tonight's lesson after I record last week's lesson because I am now have to review last week I had to review the uh, the test I have to learn at school at my work but today maybe I have finished it and then maybe I am now celebrating it maybe I am now having parties like yours Maybe I am now going to get some draw drinking like yours. But okay. So I am recorded this lesson for today. So thank you so much for watching. Remember to review to see and prepare for 2D. I am Full Say. This is Lauren English. We'll Full Say. See you next week. Goodbye and good night. Goodbye. Have a great Saturday. Monday, I am on now on Monday right now. Bye bye. How could this take so long? See you next week.